Hello everyone, so in this video, let us see how to plot individuals and moving grain chart or INMR chart, which is a special type of statistical process control tool which is used at the industries in order to monitor and control different processes. So the idea is to identify common cause variations from special cause variations and take the necessary action in order to control the process. In this example, I have three different variables and efficiency for a process. So in this example, I'm interested in uh, plotting the INMR chart for variable one. So before that, uh, INMR chart is usually plotted on uh, data that are normally distributed. So the way to check that is to use the normal quantile plot from the distribution platform. So the way to check uh, if the data are normally distributed is uh, you can go to distribution and then plot the histogram and then from the histogram uh, you can choose the normal quantile plot from the red triangle option and in the normal quantile plot uh, if you see uh, that uh, the data points are uh, along the diagonal over here this means uh, the data are approximately normally distributed so once you confirm that, uh, now uh, you can plot the I and MR chart by going to analyze and then quality and process and then you can go to control chart builder. Now keep in mind that the control chart uh, builder interface is very similar to that of the graph builder interface uh, where you drag and drop variables. So in this example, like I mentioned, I'll be plotting INMR chart for variable one. So to plot the INMR chart, you drag and drop variable one as a Y variable. And by default, uh, individual and moving green chart is automatically created as you can see here. So uh, individuals and moving green chart actually consists of two plots. The one at the top is called as the individual chart and the one at the bottom is called as the moving green chart. So the individual chart actually consists of all the data points uh, from our variable of interest and the moving range chart is nothing but subset or subgroup of uh, uh, our uh, data column. Uh, so in this example, uh, a moving range chart is nothing but the range between uh, two uh, subsequent points uh, in this chart. And uh, the green line uh, here in the individual chart is the mean and the red line is the standard deviation. Similarly, in the moving range chart, uh, the green line is the uh, mean of the moving ranges and standard deviation uh, for the same. Now, uh, the way uh, the common cause uh, variations are identified from the special cause variation is uh, entirely dependent on the type of standard deviations that are used for the individual chart. There are actually two types of standard deviations that can be used. The long-term standard deviation, which uses all the data points in the uh, for a particular variable, or the short-term standard deviation, which is the subset or a subgroup of uh, uh, the same variable. And usually the long-term standard deviation, which uses all the data points, uh, they actually reduce the sensitivity uh, or the difference between the common cause and the special cause variation. So in order to clearly differentiate between uh, the common cause and the special cause variation, uh, short-term standard deviations are used. And you can actually make the changes by uh, uh, the various options here. So once you create the individuals and moving range chart uh, to finish up, you can just click done. Uh, 